Hello. Welcome to the laboratory of Jean-Paul Gasset. Greetings, and welcome back. You're doing a good job. First, a recap of your previous visit. The podfish's legs have completely developed. Did you see the podfish mate? It seems that the tubes atop their heads have even more uses than we thought. However, the male podfish died immediately after. It is unfortunate, but he spent every last bit of energy ensuring the continuation of his species. I'm sure he has no regrets. Do you recall that when you tried to move the rock, the podfish helped you? While neither you nor Seaman can move the rock alone, working together, you were able to move it, if only slightly. At the moment, the habitat contains one podfish. He appears to be very hungry. Hmm. Hey, food, here, now. Oh, good, food. Mmm, I couldn't eat another bite. It's about time. <laughs> quit it, quit it, it hurts. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna pee if you don't stop. <laughs> don't make me laugh. <laughs> Hello? Are you listening? All right, it's quiz time again. Tell me, how many lives does a cat get? You asked someone, didn't you? Okay, let's go. I see this is going to take a while. So tell me. Do you use the internet? So you surf the net? Good. You have to keep up with technology or you'll never make it in this day and age. So, this World Wide Web, what do you use it for? You use it for fun and games? Well, that's all well and good, but I guess you didn't hear about the information part of the information superhighway. Do you ever use email? So you email people? Do you prefer to keep in touch with people through email or the telephone? Yes, there's nothing as comforting as the sound of a human voice. I must say... Even I've gotten used to it over time. It's quiz time again. If you answer correctly, I'll give you a hand with the rock. Ready? If you put a blue lamp next to a yellow lamp in a room with white walls, what color will the walls be? That's right. You've tried this before, I'll take it. 
Okay, let's give this a shot then. Just a little bit more. Wow. Look at what we did. Now, here's something that you might be interested in as an internet user. Do you think the internet should be censored? You think the internet should be censored, hmm? You use the internet for fun, but you want it censored? Well, then I hope your idea of fun is G-rated and involves a lot of cookie recipes and home remodeling tips. So, as I was saying before, there are a lot of really amazing things about the Internet, but as with everything else, it's not completely perfect. Think of it this way. You can do almost anything on the Internet. Work, shop, chat, get the news, play games, listen to music, and pretty much anything else you want to do. That's all terrific, but... Pretty soon, people won't even need to leave their homes in order to conduct their daily business. You humans are going to get lazier and less mobile, and forget how to deal with each other face to face. I think things could get pretty ugly a few decades down the road. Do you think the Internet is dangerous? If you don't think it's dangerous, then what possible reason could you have to censor it? Sometimes you humans make no sense at all. See, me, I think everyone should decide for themselves how dangerous the Internet is, and then can be their own censor. Informed people can make sensible decisions. Well, I don't know about you, but... I've enjoyed this little chat about the Internet. It can be a wonderful thing. For the first time ever, people can finally communicate with each other and not have race, gender, or culture prejudices get in the way. So in that sense, it can be a great tool for removing biases and bringing people together. After all, on the Internet, nobody has to know I'm a seaman. On the other hand, like I said, it can be very dangerous because it removes the need to interact directly with the outside world, especially with other people. It's up to all of you humans to decide how to use the Internet intelligently so that it won't harm you. All right, here's another one. What do you have if you put a cat in a fishbowl? Right you are. All right, I'll give you a hand. Since I don't have anything else to add, I'll be going now. Goodbye. Who turned out the lights? Hey, I'm trying to sleep in here. Mother, I'm frightened. Hey, cut that out. I'm trying to get some sleep here. Now look what you've done. It's too hot in here. Quit with the heater earlier next time.